PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, how are we all going today? I wouldn't be dead for quits today, beautiful day on my side of the world. So what's the old get going on about today guys? Well, what I'm trying to do guys is find the best plasma cutter for you fellas under 300 bucks. I know $300 isn't a lot of money, but if we haven't got two fifths of bugger all, $300 can be quite a lot of money. So I want to know the difference. Is there really any difference between a plasma cutter machine that's $199 like this one, or a plasma cutter machine that's $249 like this one? Like I say, it's only 50 bucks difference, but 50 bucks can make a huge difference to someone who hasn't got two fifths of bugger all. Anyway guys, that's what this is about. What do you get? For a machine under 300 bucks, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and uh, let's get into it, eh? I'll show you the difference. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, guys, you'll know that I basically say I reckon all these plasma card machines under about $400 are all about the same. They've just got different colours and different brands stamped on them, but I reckon they're almost made in the same factory in China. So I brought this one for 199 the other day, and then I, this is the latest one I've got, which is 249 I think, from memory. So what's the exact difference? Apart from 50 bucks, obviously. <laughs> so if we look at the Flame Weld one here, guys, this comes with a standard AG60P torch, and it's Pilot Arc. The other machine's Pilot Arc as well, so they're both exactly the same machines. 50 amp machine here. 55 amp machine here, but I think it only does run at 50 amps, but it goes up to 55 on the screen But you know, that's neither here nor there So if we have a look at the flame weld torch here guys, its lead is 4 meters long So that gives you quite a good distance where you can go and cut and you don't have to drag your machine pretty close to what you're cutting So guys, if we look at the PLC 55 Pro This comes with a nice torch, not that the other one isn't nice, but I think this is a, a better torch it's better for my hands because my hands are huge and this torch is also rated at 100 amps whereas the other torch on this machine here is only rated at 60 amps. But if we have a look at the length of this torch guys, it's only half the length of the cheaper plasma cutter. So we're still about even really. Another thing you'll notice if you buy a cheap plasma cutter guys, no matter what you buy, I think the earth leads are all crap. This one here is for the flame weld, this machine here. And this is not too bad, it's got a bit of tension in it. So this is passable, but I would still put a new earth lead on it. You can see my other videos where I've updated the earth leads and that sort of thing. Whereas the PLC 55 Pro here, you have a look at this earth lead here. Now that is absolute crap -a mundo. that is rubbish. So I, the first thing I do to this machine is to change the earth lead. But that doesn't mean to say that the machine's rubbish guys, it's just, I don't know why, but they give you crappy earth leads on these machines. So what I'll do in a minute guys is we'll cut both of these in the guts and we'll do some cutting with both of them and we'll see if there's any difference in the actual cut. But if you notice on this one here guys, this has got the air pressure gauge on the outside of the machine, whereas the cheaper version here has got it on the back of the machine here, see that guys? But once again guys, it just swings the roundabouts, it's just how they design these machines. So, so far there's not much in between either of them. So guys, we'll start with the $199 machine, this flame weld machine. We're going to cut a bit of 5mm, I think it's 5.5mm plate. This machine here is rated to cut to about 10mm, so this is just over half of that. So we'll kick it in the guts and see what it does. Once again guys, we've got 50 amps here as you can see, turn it up, pilot arc. What I'll do guys is I'm going to take the guide off it because I don't like cutting with a guide. I prefer freehand. If I can get it off, the guide's quite tight. Just let me take this guide off guys. Shit, that's tight, Pete. Yeah! Wow, that's about the tightest guide I've had in a while. I prefer to just use it freehand guys because it just gives me more control but if you're just starting out plasma cutting then I suggest you use the guide so anyway guys, $199 machine let's kick it in the guts, see what happens as you can see guys, didn't really look at that twice no problem cutting that whatsoever 
Right, so like I said, the maximum is about twice the thickness, so let's get a bit twice the stick, or maybe even a bit thicker, and we'll see if it can cut that little sucker. <laughs> now, because I don't really cut 10 mil and above in my workshop, guys, I normally only cut in three mil. What I cut before was about the maximum that I really cut. So what I've found is this old gym weight, and it's about 12 millimeters thick. If you have a look there, guys, you see that? It's about 12 mil thick. So this is designed to cut 10 mil, at a stretch, so we'll see if it'll cut 12 mil. And what I'm trying to do here, guys, is just give you an idea about the prices of these things and what they do and what they don't do. Right, there, guys, 50 amp again. Let's kick it in the guts, see if we can actually cut through it. What do you reckon guys? Cut through that no problem whatsoever. Or well, you have to cut your way through a lump of steel to get to something else. I mean once in a while it'll be fine to cut something like this. So that's the $199 machine. That's running stock standard, anything that you get from it. That's running just as it comes out of the box. I haven't updated the earth clamp, I haven't done anything with it. And if you update the earth clamp and that sort of thing, you can get a little bit more power out of it as well. So like I keep saying, this is a $199 machine. Now let's go on to the other machine and we'll see what that can do. Yeah! So now we're on the 55 amp machine guys. So we turn it up, you see you get 55 amps out of it there. Once again guys, this is the better torch, or well, just in my personal opinion, between the two machines. But the, having said that, this torch is really, really short compared to the other one. And this machine come with this really, really crappy earth lead. I mean the other one was bad enough. But this one is really, really bad. But it might do for the job. We'll have a go, eh? See what it cuts. Yeah! <laughs> Once again, guys, we're just starting off with the five, five and a half mil like I did on the other machine. So we'll kick it in the guts, see what happens. Once again, I've taken the guide off it. And once again, it's pilot arc machine. Kick it in the guts, Pete. Once again, guys, it's going to cut that all bloody day, no problem whatsoever. Yo, that hot feet. Yeah. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll, this one here is also rated to cut about 10 millimetres thick. 10, 11 mil, the same as the other one. So we'll grab the weight again, and we'll cut a lump off that and see what the difference is. <laughs> so, guys, here we go. Same drama again, but with the bigger torch and the different machine. yeah -ha! Here we go guys, yeah! Grab your gloves, Pete. Now guys, as you can see, it's a bit more ugly. Got a bit more blow through with it. Uh, that might be more me than at the actual machine. And I also noticed I started cutting into my table here, which didn't help because the sparks are blowing back up. But once again, does what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to be able to cut this stick, but it did it. And so, yeah, make up your own mind, guys. So guys, as you can see, I don't reckon there's anything in it at all. This one here comes with a short torch lead, but a better quality torch. This one here has a longer torch lead and a better quality earth. So it's six of one and a half dozen of another. They both cut as they're supposed to cut. I reckon either one of these machines would do you if you're just starting out in your workshop. As long as you're not building battleships with steel that thick, I don't think you're going to have much of a problem at all. These Chinese machines get a lot of bad press, I think, and there's no real reason for it. I mean, if you use it for what it's designed to do, 
I think, you know, you're pretty well right. But I've been lucky. Like, this is the third machine that I've had of this, and I've bought a couple of Chinese welders and other bits and pieces. I've never really had a problem. But that's just me. So, guys, you make up your own mind. $250 machine, $199 machine. Both pilot arc, both as cheap as chips, both do what they say they're going to do on the box. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you want to see a review about this machine, check up here. And if you want to see a review on this machine, check up here. Anyway, guys, see ya. Bye. Oh, by the way, I'll put some links with both of these machines in the description below for you fellas. See ya. Peachtools.com.com.com.